Oh, 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 come on. Get it. Oh, oh, no, not even close. Hey, yo. Welcome in, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a screensaver for your stream, just like this nostalgic DVD video screensaver. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Or this. As you can see, we've replaced the DVD logo with a custom image of your choice. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is hop on over to our Discord. I'll post the link in the description. You're going to want to find this video, download it, open DaVinci Resolve. I'm using the free version. This is version 18.6, but any newer version should work just fine. Go ahead and click the Edit tab. From here, grab your media from your Downloads folder and drag it right into the media pool. Go ahead and hit Change. Then from there, click on the media and drag it right into your timeline. Go ahead and right click the clip and click on open infusion page. From here, you'll see you want media in one selected on your keyboard, type shift space and type in tracker. Go ahead and hit enter to add it. Make sure you're on frame zero. Take the tracker and drag it over right onto the center of the dot and go ahead and click on track forward. All right, when that's done, go ahead and click okay. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is add your image. You can use any image you want. Take the image, drag it right into the fusion nodes right here, and then go ahead and connect that to the tracker. Now you'll notice it hasn't appeared, that's okay. Just click on the tracker, click operation, and change that operation to match move. And there it appears. Now, if I hit play, you'll see it moves with it, but it's not centered on the tracker. So what I want to do is I want to center that image onto the tracker. The way to do that is I'm going to add a transform node. So select the media in two, which is your image on your keyboard, hit shift space and type in transform. Go ahead and hit enter. There's the transform node. With that selected, you'll see it adds this control right over top of the image. And I can drag that right to the center of that dot. Now if I hit play, maybe I want to change the size of it. So I'll scale it up a little bit bigger. So this is looking good. If you want to change the color of the background, that's very easy. Just go ahead and click on the media in one. Shift space and type in background. Add that. And you'll see here it added in the background with the merge node. Um, just select the background and change the color to whatever you want. I like blue. It works best with my image. And blue is actually going to be the color that we key out. So we're going to remove this background when we add this video as a stream overlay. Next, I want to go to the delivery tab. You'll see we've got the whole video down here. Select on the YouTube 1080p preset. I'm going to give it a file name. Everything else looks fine here. Add to the render queue and go ahead and hit render. All right, once that's finished rendering, you can go ahead and play the clip. There it is, it's looking great. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video so you can see how I add this to Streamlabs as an overlay. Wow, look at that. When will it ever hit that corner?